So next next question is letter G, which is two over three x minus three over four equal to one over six x plus twenty one over four. So this one looks a little bit similar to previous question, which is this one. But difference is, it has four different denominators here. So you need to find the common denominator. It doesn't have to be least common denominator, but I recommend to find least common denominator because they will make your job a little bit easier. Okay? And then you have trouble to work on this problem then I have another way to do it so which I will show you so two different ways I'm going to show you first of all finding LCD so LCD case this case will be 12 because the three case become 3 6 9 12 15 like that 4 is 4 8 12 and 16 like that and 6 is 6, 12, 18, something like that. So, as you see, 12 is the least common denominator. So, now you multiply 12 every term, like what we did before. So, which means, looks like a distributive property again. So, you multiply each term here. Then this is going to be 12 times 2 over 3x minus 12 times 3 over 4 equal to 12 times 1 over 6x plus 12 times 21 over 4. Okay. Before we are calculating, we want to simplify the multiplying number with each denominator so 3 and 12 become 4 4 and 12 become 3 6 and 12 becomes 2 4 and 12 become 3 again therefore the remaining term becomes 8x 4 times 2 become 8 3 times 3 becomes 9 2 times 1 become 2 and 3 times 21 become 63. Okay. So, now it looks like a normal equation, but we have the variable and constant are together on both sides. So, you determine where you want to gather the variable terms and where you want to gather constant term. We usually, uh, we usually gather the variable on the left side so I'm gonna subtract 2x here at the same time I'm gonna combine 9 on the both sides so this becomes 6x equal to 72 now you divide by 6 then x becomes 12. Okay? And so next one is i. So 2 over 3x minus x plus 2 over 6 equal to 5x minus 2 over 2. So as I told you, we have another way to solve this problem. This case we are using LCD, but now this problem, I'm going to introduce different way to do it. Because some of you uh, have some difficulty to find the LCD, of course you can find it, that will be great. But if not, then you may consider this method again. So, now how many Denominator do you see here? 
three, six, two. I usually uh, multiply biggest denominator value first, but you don't have to. Okay. So what I want to do this case because I want to show multiple step. You know, this case if you want to multiply three first, two first, six first, it is up to you. But I'm gonna multiply smallest smallest number first. But I usually do biggest one first because that number can be common denominator though. But this case I want to show more steps, so I'm gonna multiply two first. So now you distribute. Okay, then this become two times two over three x minus. 2 times x plus 2 over 6 equal to 2 times 5x minus 2 over 2. Now you simplify if possible. Unfortunately, this one we cannot simplify. So you multiply these two numbers. Then this is going to be 4 over 3x minus Fortunately, we can simplify this to become 1, 6 become 3, so it becomes x plus 2 over 3 equal to, and 2 at 2 cancelled out, so it becomes 5x minus 2. Now, we still have the denominator, which is 3. So, you multiply every time again. Whenever you do, you have to multiply every term. That's the key. And distribute again. Then this becomes 3 times 4 over 3x minus 3 times x plus 2 over 3 equal to 3 times 5x minus 2. Now, simplify if possible. So as you see, 3 and 3 cancelled out, and 3 and 3 cancelled out. So now, I'm going to reorganize without writing denominator. Then this become 4x minus x plus 2 equal to, now this term you can distribute. Then this become 15x minus 6. So next step, you distribute. If you get confused, then you may think they are imaginary one. Then it becomes 4x minus x minus 2 equal to 15x minus 6. Combine right term. Then 3 x minus 2 equal to 15x minus 6. Now this one looks like this step here. So I'm going to gather the variable on one side and constants on the other side. We usually gather the variable on the left side. So I'm going to show that step though. But if you want to move on to the right side, that's fine too. So minus 15x. At the same time, plus 2. Then these two cancelled out. So left over negative 12x equal to negative 4. Now you divide by negative 12. Then answer x become 1 over 3. Rem remember, negative divided by negative become positive. So I didn't write any sign in, the, in here. Without sign means positive number anyway. Okay?